Ryan Rollison gets the ball today. The left-hander, the youngster, having a heck of a freshman campaign. Six and two on the year, 53 innings of work and a 2-1 ERA. Well, Ryan's been so consistent for us since we inserted him in that starting rotation uh, back in week three of Southeastern Conference play. And uh, wasn't quite the start that, you know, especially after Friday night that any of us would, would want where you walk the leadoff guy, you wild pitch him to second base, they move him over, and, uh, you know, of course, their three-hole guy gets him in, and now you find yourself down again. Ground ball, rolled left side. Let's get the run home as Kessinger will glove and throw to first in time for the out just to get Shoemaker. So that leadoff walk comes home for the Aggies, and they lead it one to nothing. So right move or wrong move, you want to shake it off and go after him, then shake it off and go after him. I mean, think along with me. You're too smart. I got a guy that's hitting 360 in a bat, right? And I got a guy that's hitting 260 on the deck, right? But you got to make some pitches. That's what we're talking about, the routine. You got to make some pitches. You got to throw a changeup or a breaking ball or something in the zone in the first inning, right? It whole starts because you walk the first guy and then throw a 40-foot ball, right? Not you. It'd be different if you were just the 96 guy that didn't have any command. You have it, and you've pitched like it. Don't wait for the third inning to do it. You know, do it next inning, right? You you got all the pitches and you got it, but I need you now. I don't need you in the third inning when it, it's you know one to zero and all that. I want you to put up a zero now, all right? Come on. Yeah, it was a little come to Jesus. Um, you know, it was kind of to wake me up and, you know, you got to be locked in from the first pitch. And he said, you know, going out there and bouncing 40-foot change-ups is not you. You know, you're giving them runs out there and we need you today. We need this win and we need you to go deep into the game. And so I, I, I kind of came out there with a chip on my shoulder. You know, I just had the mindset of going right at him and, you know, just thinking I'm the, I'm the best up there and, and going right at him. And, you know, here's my fastball. Let's see if he can hit it. Oh, two, zone roll out. I pitch a little bit here. Lefty ready and delivers. Fastball oh, yeah. right down the middle. Oh, boy, roll out. It's a one two pitch. Strike three. Yes. Ryan's feeling the flow out there as he is just shoving this four-seamer in on right-handers. A TV caught Mike Bianco between innings in, I would say, a stern talk to Ryan Rollison. There was no question. Ryan was listening. Coach B was talking. And Ryan Rollison has come out, I mean, locked in here in the second inning. He listened, huh? Swing and a miss. Struck him out on a pitch upstairs, and he strikes out the side. With three straight strikeouts, Rollison was back on track and dealing. He would give way to the bullpen mid-fourth, but despite them providing quality innings deep into the contest, the Rebs still found themselves down two runs. Bottom of the eighth inning, the Rebels trail the Aggies here in SEC Baseball in Oxford. 4-2 with Fortez about to lead off for the Rebels. 4-5 and 6, Olenek and then Tim Rowe. First pitch, base knocked right field. Lepetsky comes up firing, so a leadoff single. Mike Bianco is going to call a T.O. just to calm his big center fielder down. Got to be ready for the fastball here, right? Yes, but take ball four, but I need you to be on time, right? Because you're going to get a fastball right here. Rip up the gap. Come on. Here's the pitch. Ground ball right side, base hit. Cortez is hitting the bag at second. He's going to try to get to third. Down, 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 down. Here comes the throw. It's offline, and he's on safe the on the head first slide. And the Rebels have runners at the corners with no out. Some life in this building now, Dave Neal. Mike Bianco told us back in the fifth inning, he said, we just need somebody with to come up with a big hit. Well, here's an opportunity for Tim Rowe to come up with a big hit. Stepping a throw to first. Olenek was going. The throw to second is in time for the out. And a, oh, he called him safe. Safe! Yeah! Payoff pitch, here it comes. Ground ball toward the shortstop. He backs up, gloves, missed it! Go, 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 go! One run scores! Here comes Olenek! He's safe and we're tied at four! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! What a turn of events here, Dave Neal. And you hear some more applause, and that's because they're showing the Ole Miss Rebel softball team at the SEC tournament just one. 
I think if, if you were in the stadium, you realize how the stadium kind of changed uh, once you guys put the, the, the video of the softball team winning the Southeastern Conference tournament and the crowd kind of erupted at that point and kind of got a little more energy. But as you mentioned, what makes our game so great was you know times that you see during the season, during a game, uh, like Greg Kessinger's at bat. And it's no secret that he struggled offensively this year. Um, they got a guy throwing 95, 96 miles an hour, and he just hangs in there and probably has an eight to 10 pitch at bat and fouls a bunch of pitches off. Fouled away. Keep your nose right on it. And he delivers another fastball, fouled off right there at the plate. Hi, boy. There hadn't been any of them hard, DK, but he had put the bat on it. Battling, battling. Yes, he is. Gray's battling here. And he fouls off another one. This is number nine. Pitch number, number nine. nine. On every pitch that I was fouling off, I was thinking to myself, hey, I'm on this guy. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. And it just kept happening. And finally, left one up and over the middle, and I was able to put a good swing on it. Get up! Go, ball! Get up! Get up! I thought I had a chance to get out, and I saw the guy running. I was like, oh, that ball better keep carrying. Because nighttime at Swayze, it just doesn't go. But I dropped in, and I was fired up. And it is off the base of the wall. Rowe is going to round third. Here he comes. They'll throw to the plate. It's going to be late. He's safe. And Gray Kessinger has his best hit of his young career. You rarely see emotion like that out of out of Greg Kessinger, you know. He's got the big league pedigree in his family and usually plays it pretty smooth, but it was neat to see him at second base giving a bunch of fist pumps and, and the excitement that he had on his face uh, and well-deserved with a huge at bat for us. Woo! Hell yeah! Atta boy! Uh, hey, two outs, no picks. Good secondary lead. With the momentum on their side, the Diamond Rebs would add an insurance run off the bat of Will Golson, providing a save opportunity for fiery closer Dallas Wolfel, who puts the bull in bullpen. You know, this is exactly what you think of when you think closer, just a big physical dude who trusts his stuff and can put you away with a swing and miss pitch. It's without a doubt that when Dallas comes in, we're winning the baseball. The confidence and the mound presence he has is just intimidating. He looks seven foot tall out there as, as far as, you know, how tough he is. He's going to have steam coming off his head and, you know, he's going to throw the ball as hard as he can and, you know, he'll, he'll let you know that uh, he's blowing it past you too. Ole Miss six, Texas A&M four. Runner at first base, one out, one two to Kopetsky. Dallas Wolfo ready. Kicks, fires. Slider struck him out. He was not expecting it. Nailed the inside corner. Got him looking two away. It's a pretty good breaking ball right there. Just painted down and in. And here we go. The matchup we've been alluding to. The best hitter on the Aggies versus this closer for the Rebels. Quite a matchup here with the game on the line. Wolfo. Kicks, fires a pitch. Swing and a miss! He struck him out! And the Rebels come from behind and win a very important game here at home to even the series, a 6-4 final in front of the home folks on graduation Saturday. It's a great dub, man. It's a great dub. A lot of, I mean, that's one of the best college baseball games I think you can watch. So it's a dogfight, and we all competed on both sides. I mean, it's just one of the most fun games I've ever really been a part of. So I mean, it was a blast. We're There's watching fireworks. some fireworks. We just beat AM. Yeah. Softball just beat LSU. It's a great night. Great night to be a rebel. Hey, John, John, stay here. You happy with these young bucks? Put you out on senior out with the dub? Awesome, awesome. Best senior night in Ole Miss history. Always good. Good. No. Best seniors in the country. Best seniors in the country. Uh, I got a different view of it. I was in the bullpen the whole time, so it was a cool feeling uh, hearing all the fans out there get rowdy for us. So it was a good win and a uh, great hit by Gray to top it off, and not to mention uh, Goldar's little hit up the middle. Great, great kick. <laughs> <laughs> Got in his head there. Not able to do it. Dude, every, is it you that always comes around and gets me? No, that's the first time I've done it. Oh, wait, this is a game.